What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released iOS 15.6. Along with iOS 15.6, Apple has also released iPadOS 15.6, macOS Monterey 12.5, macOS Big Sur 11.6.8, HomePod OS 15.6, and tvOS 15.6, and watchOS 8.7. So I have iOS 15.6 installed here on my sister's iPhone 12 because on my main iPhone, I have iOS 16 installed on it. And I'm gonna be showing you some of the new features and changes found in iOS 15.6. These are the official release notes of iOS 15.6. It says here that the TV app has an option to restart live sports already in progress and pause, rewind, or fast forward. That is pretty nice if you watch live sports. Six is an issue with where settings may continue to display the device storage full even if it's available. So that is issue has been occurring ever since the initial release of iOS 15. I remember having that issue but got fixed in like iOS 15.1. Fix is an issue where that causes braille device to be slow or stop responding when navigating in mail. And an issue in Safari where tabs may revert back to the previous page. Never seen that issue before. It might have happened but that is just my experience. We also have a bunch of security updates here. So if we were to take a look at those, we have a total of 36 security updates in iOS 15.6. iPadOS, yes, I know I have iPadOS 16 here. We do have an issue related to my specific iPad, the iPad mini 6, which fixes an issue where charging does not work at all. So you would need to restart the device or even restore it with iTunes or your Mac. And that issue was pretty major for people who have the iPad mini 6. So this is definitely a reason to upgrade to iPadOS 15.6 if you have an iPad iPad Mini 6 or even any iPad really. In Safari settings, if we were to clear history and website data and press clear history and website data, we now have the option to close tabs or to keep the tabs. So that is pretty useful if you want to clear your website history. Now that was pretty much the only feature in iOS 15.6 as Apple on the update page does not say anything at all about features of iOS 15.6, even if we were to press this learn more button, which brings up this menu right here. We have the bug fix with music, so if you have like any other music app downloaded and put into the dock in iOS 15.5, it would immediately replace itself with music. That issue has been fixed in iOS 15.6 as well. Now I also did run a Geekbench test on here, so let me pull up the history. On iOS 15.5, we see we got a 1580 on the single core and a 30 5582 on the multi core. Now, on iOS 15.6, we have a 1582 on the single core and a 4043 on the multi core, which does mean that iOS 15.6 does increase performance since both of these numbers are higher. Now, I would like to show you what is new in macOS Ventura now. So, let's take a look at the release notes real fast. So I copied and pasted the release notes in a text document, and we only have one mentioned bug fix, which is the same exact thing as iOS 15.6 right here. We also have the added ability of the TV app, and you can't really delete music, so if you were to replace music with Spotify or anything else, it would not be an issue at all. And the update came in at 2.2 gigabytes. So clearing history on macOS is a little bit different than on an iOS, so if we were to clear history, it would not prompt us to close the tab, so that is not a feature in macOS Monterey 12.5. I also did run a few Geekbench tests, so I have one for macOS 12.4, and one for macOS 12.5. And we can see that they did improve performance on both the single core and the multi-core. If we take a look, we see that it is 300 points higher, or almost 300 points higher on macOS 12.5, which is a good reason to update as well. Even with macOS Catalina and macOS Big Sur, we do have security updates, but for now, we're just gonna look at macOS Monterey's release notes. So we have 46 security updates in macOS Monterey 12.5. So that is a good reason to update to macOS 12.5. So what can we expect next from Apple? So I say on the 21st, we will be getting iOS 16 beta 4. On the 22nd, we will be getting iOS 16 public beta too. Now, I would not expect Apple to release another set of iOS 15 betas as we are in the iOS 16 beta stage now. So what I would expect is Apple to just release iOS 15.7 sometime in August or early September. We could also see an iOS 15.6.1. We could also see an iOS 15.6.1 to resolve a few security updates. That is it, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.